Hey guys, Geo here and it's time for a new video and as most of you will know I've been aiming for 99 woodcutting. I am just about there, so I decided to make a quick video guide, a little analysis on some different ways to train woodcutting. I'll go over the different ways I've played with to train woodcutting to show you guys some experience, some different ways to do it and give you guys some advice. So maybe you'll be able to pick a way to train your woodcutting and use them effectively to get faster woodcutting experience. However, this will be by no means all the different ways to train woodcutting. It might not even be the most efficient, and it might be different ways to do what I show you. And if you have some advice or some extra tips or an extra different spot completely, feel free to put that in the comments section of this video or as a video response. If it's related to woodcutting, I will accept it and other people can see your video so it can help people get some nice woodcutting experience. Yep, so the purpose of this is just to show you the different ways I tried to train woodcutting and to give you guys some advice and to let you know about different spots. So, basically, as a little opening part, I used a beaver for every single spot I used. Unless there are some alternatives which I will talk about, a beaver is just about always the right thing to use. A beaver requires 33 summoning, and once you're 33 summoning, you can buy a beaver on the Grand Exchange, or make one yourself, and just summon it, and that will give you an invisible woodcutting boost and improve your woodcutting experience. For any spots where logs are produced from the trees where I receive resources from woodcutting, I'll be using an urn. You can only use urns from trees that you receive logs from, like oak trees or willow trees or yew trees or magic trees, teak, etc. You can't use an urn on things like ivies because you don't actually get any produce, so the urns don't fill up. So wherever I can use an urn, I will be using an urn. So I'm going to get on with this guys and show you some different spots. Remember if you have any tips or advice or different spots or more efficient methods always to improve the methods I show, be sure to put that in the comment section of this video or even make a video response to this video. Enjoy the video guys and I hope it's useful for you to see the different woodcutting spots, the XP per hours and a little bit of a profit analysis and some alternatives. Remember guys, wherever I've been collecting experience, I've been using a dragon hatchet. Now a dragon hatchet is between 5 and 10% better than a rune hatchet. So if you plan on getting 99 woodcutting, it's definitely worth buying a dragon hatchet or getting an infernal adz. Now I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, it's either adz or adze. And it's basically an axe that requires 92 fire making and you do the mini game to light all the beacons. However myself, I don't have 92 fire making so I can't use that. But it is equivalent to a dragon hatchet. Links in the description of this video to read more about hatchets the infernal adds in case you're interested. But it's definitely worth getting the infernal adds or investing in a dragon hatchet to train your woodcutting because it is 5-10% to 10 better than the rune hatchet as confirmed by Modmark I believe it was. And remember guys, these are the potential experience you might be getting. You must consider that you might not be paying attention 100%. So spots like Ivy's where you will be able to multitask without needing to click constantly will be more steady XP than a spot like Oxy Pines where we choose to drop logs. So what you guys must consider is how much time you can spend on RuneScape and how much you're going to get distracted and then do a valid choice on which one's going to work out faster XP for you guys. So remember that when you're listening to the XP rates later on and think about how much attention you'll be willing to pay to RuneScape. Okay guys, so the first spot we're going to talk about is ivies and they are most definitely the most popular spot for training woodcutting. Each ivy cut grants 332.5 woodcutting experience. So effectively speaking, when I was reading RuneScape Wiki, a full inventory of ivies would be 9,300. Well they don't actually cut ivies so that's irrelevant. Anyway, there are anything from 70,000 to 85,000 experience an hour from level 90 upwards and probably from level 80 upwards. They're a fantastic way to train woodcutting, the only drawback can be they can be quite busy and if they're quite busy it can be quite a pain in the arse and hard trying to multitask with them so do ivies while you're doing something else on your computer. However, they're a fantastic spot, you won't earn anything from them other than nests. The only profit you're going to get from ivies will be bird nests where you get seeds and you'll be able to grind the nest and sell the crushed nest on the Grand Exchange. But you can get a big chunk of XP from ivies at very fast rates. Ivies can be found around RuneScape on walls basically. They can be found on the north wall of Varrock Palace where there are four spots, the southeast out wall of Varrock Palace where there are five spots, the north side of the north wall of Falador where there are seven spots, the south side of the south wall on Falador where there are seven spots again, Southeast of Tavalet, near the hot air balloon, there are five spots. Near the East Ardon Church, there are five spots. Near Yanil, there are six spots. And on the south wall of Castle Wars, which is my personal favourite, there are seven spots. So yes, when I'm doing ivies, I mainly do them at Castle Wars. So that's just walk round from Castle Wars Bank, just south on the south wall of Castle Wars. 
It's a fantastic way to train woodcutting, however it's not the best experience per hour, but it's quite easy to multitask as long as it's not too busy, however ivies are quite infested with woodcutting bots. Now, cutting, splitting and storing is one of the ways to do arctic pines and it's definitely the easiest way as far as not having to click much goes. Basically, you cut a full inventory of the logs, you cut them into, you split them using the stump and then you store them in the pile near the bridge. Now, this is quite an easy way to do wood cutting, it's definitely an easy way to multitask. However, one of the drawbacks with this spot is it's very hard to share. If you have just one more person at this spot, it can make it quite awkward and it can be very detrimental to the experience. So if you're going to do this one, you want to find the world by yourself because an extra one person can be detrimental and an extra two people can be very detrimental to the XP power. However, if you're by yourself and you're paying enough attention to always be cutting and always be splitting, it's 75,000 to 80,000 experience an hour at a level of around 95 and 90 and above you'll probably be able to achieve this. Remember guys, in any spots that I'm talking about that actually produce logs when you're cutting the trees, I'll be using urns and that's what I've calculated the XP using. If you're not using urns, it will be very detrimental to the XP per hour you're getting and since this spot produces logs, it's a great spot to use woodcutting urns. To cut arctic pines, you'll have to complete a Defremnic Isles quest because it is actually a net is not or neat's not, however you want to pronounce it. So you'll need to complete a Defremnic Isles quest in order to get there or at least have started it and completed it to a certain degree to access the arctic pine trees near the stump as the spot shows on the video. Now this is probably the fastest way to train wood cutting along with teaks but they're around the same XP per hour. This one is 110,000 to 120,000 potential XP per hour for high level woodcutters. And basically as soon as you see a log in your inventory as you see on the video you drop it straight away and then click back on the tree. Although it seems like you're stopping to woodcut the XP still works out extremely fast as long as you drop the log and then click the tree straight away because dropping a log does actually interrupt with chopping the tree. There are different ways to do this I imagine. I imagine you could chop a full inventory and then drop them. The problem with that, it, with that is you'll want to use urns so you'll want loads of urns in your inventory and you'll probably want loads of beavers too. So chopping a full inventory and then dropping that can be quite awkward. So what I would recommend is you just drop them one by one however you can do it the best way that suits you. This way I calculated it, calculated it when I was just chopping drop chop drop that was 110,000 to 120,000 XP per hour, which is fantastic. However, though, myself, I wouldn't do it too long because I would get bored and I just wouldn't pay that much attention to uphold a great XP per hour and I'd probably just get more multitasking myself. However, if you really want to power wood cutting, this is definitely a fantastic way to do it. There's no profit in here for you apart from nests, the same as ivies and the same as the Arctic Pie splitting. And another alternative when you're dropping logs is to alk them because high alchemy doesn't actually interrupt the chopping itself as long as you're not alking too fast. If you alk and then you don't alk again until you see the axe come back out as you're chopping it doesn't actually interrupt the woodcutting. However this can be problematic for high level woodcutters who will chop logs far too fast to keep up with alking them and will end up interrupting the woodcutting. But that's definitely another thing you can look at if you'd like to get some major XP while you're woodcutting you can alk the logs as they come into your inventory and it won't actually interrupt the woodcutting as long as you don't alk them too fast. You can try that out yourself. However, that does mean much more cost when you would cut in and it might not be something you want to look at because I myself am already 99 mage and I don't want more costs and more clicking while I'm wood cutting. That's something you can try, but I do believe it can be quite problematic for high level woodcutters who will receive logs pretty fast. Teaks are definitely one of the most renowned methods for training woodcutting, however I don't personally think they're the fastest, I do think arctic pine dropping is faster and more efficient. However, dropping teaks can be anything from 100,000 to 120,000 XP an hour. People also like to alk and fletch while they're doing this. You can basically, you can fletch bolts and you can alk without interrupting the woodcutting. 
However, when you're dropping them, you're not spending anything extra and you're just training woodcutting. And if you drop a log and then click back on the tree, as you did, as you can do with Arctic Pine dropping, you can achieve up to 120,000 XP per hour. Although, as I mentioned on Arctic Pines, you can also out the logs as they come into your inventory. A thing to note when cutting teaks is that you may receive a special teak log. And now you can destroy these logs because you can't drop them because they're untradeable. You can destroy this log and it doesn't interrupt the woodcutting animation at first but you should still click back on the tree because after the log is destroyed it will interrupt the woodcutting animation so when you're dropping logs be sure to click back on the tree straight away and when you're destroying these special teak logs which can be kind of awkward you click back on the tree you're not going to get any profit from teaks apart from the bird nest well this is if you're doing the dropping method so the only profit again is bird nest the seeds in the nest and then crushing the nest yourself now these can be found near the Tai Buawana village in the hardwood grove which requires 100 trading sticks to enter. If you use the Tai Buawana teleport scroll which can be purchased on the Grand Exchange you will basically be there. You walk a little north I believe it is and you trade 100 trading sticks and you can enter the little room, well it's not a room it's more like a garden full of teak and mahogany trees and there are some perfect spots in there as you can see on the video. However there are teaks located at other parts of RuneScape like on Apatol, Mosley Harmless and various other points around RuneScape. There will be a link in the description of this video to check out all the exact locations of teaks. However this guide is here to show you that dropping teaks can be up to 120,000 XP an hour and so can elk in them. However as I said with Arctic Pines it can be problematic if you want urns and beavers in your inventory to drop all the logs and it can be problematic for high level woodcutters who chop the, lobs, chop the, chop the logs too fast to elk them. Now guys, for a little alternative for a spot where you can earn a little money, I'm going to talk about magic trees quickly. Now you can achieve anything up to 35,000 experience now with magic trees, although usually you'll be looking around 25,000 to 30,000 XP an hour. However, when you're doing this, you'll be looking to earn upwards of 140,000 gold an hour, and then you'll get all the money from the seeds in the nest, and then crushing the bird nest. It can be a nice little bit of profit if you do it all the way to 99. I didn't do it myself, though I did do it a little bit just to play with it. On the video I'm actually using the Varrock Sewer Resource Dungeon which requires 65 Dungeoneering, it's a fantastic spot, there are 6 made trees and it's not that difficult to bank because if you bank at Edgeville you can go through the Edgeville Dungeon and then through the Agility Shortcut to get there nice and fast. However some alternatives for cutting mages and it will be all around the same experience and profit power whatever spot you use really. Some alternatives are the later which is the Elflands. You can use your own farm patch and instead of using a beaver you can use a hydra and the hydra special attack actually allows a tree to grow back instantly from its stump. Alternatively you can actually use a yak instead of a beaver so you don't have to bank as often or you can even use a yak bank scroll so you don't have to bank at all. However that's up to you and you can use urns while you're cutting mage logs because mage logs fill up urns very fast which make a massive difference to the XP per hour. So if you're cutting around 100 an hour, not only you're getting 25,000 experience from cutting them, you're getting all the experience from urns as well, which is why it can be anything up to 35,000 XP an hour. So mages are a nice, moderately decent way to train wood cutting and earn a little bit of money while not having to click that much on RuneScape. So they're a nice alternative to the other spots I showed you guys. And as a slight diversion for the end of this video guys, a nice thing to do twice a day in RuneScape is find an evil tree. Now if you find the highest level evil tree you can cut, then you can cut that for a big chunk of woodcutting experience and you earn a bit of money from it, you'll receive some noted logs and potentially a seed or a bird nest. Now while you woodcut in the evil tree, you'll receive a big chunk of woodcutting experience and it can average at anything up to over 100,000 XP an hour and it's a nice diversion. To get to the evil tree you can use a spirit tree at mobilizing armies or the headgear we receive from this year's easter event. More details on that will be in the description of this video however that's a nice alternative for you to be doing twice a day since you only do evil trees twice a day on runescape. So guys I hope this video was useful for you and I hope it's showing you some nice different spots to be woodcutting and give you a good idea of the different ways you can woodcut to gain big chunks of experience. I know it's not that detailed but there's only so much you can do on a YouTube video. However if you check the description of this video I'll make sure it's nice and detailed and give you guys some different ways to look at woodcutting, some different links and some useful links and maybe even some different ways to train woodcutting. And if you guys respond to this video with any other guides or any other woodcutting tips I will probably add them in the description. 
If you have any woodcutting tips yourself, be sure to put them in the comments section of this video for me to read and for everyone else to read. So guys, be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it and favourite if you really enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed and you want to see more videos from me, not just guides but vlogs and everything like that, be sure to subscribe to me. And if you're already subscribed, thanks for subscribing. I hope you're still enjoying my videos. Thanks a lot, guys.